Okay, we're going to do a, just a face today on the uh, one by one piece of basswood. And again, this is just a kill dried piece. And, and we're going to start out here with a knife and we're going to do a series of cuts. And I come down just about, oh, a few little inches down and create a, a scooping cut. And then we're going to come in here with a knife and make our eye planes. And, and then everything again we're working from a 90 degree angle and so that way we can um, keep everything in perspective and just taking my knife here and creating the area for the nose and then I'm going to come right down below here and do a rocking chair cut. I call it a rocking chair. It rocks back and forth instead of trying to cut across. The grain could give away and go into your finger and whatever. If you're like me, I like to eat, so you don't want to do that. So just be aware of where that knife blade is going at all times the best that you can. And so right now we have an eye area, the bridge, and below the mouth. And so we'll take our knife here and we're going to come right down below here and create open this area up more for the mouth or maybe for a mustache. Next st step we're going to do is take this little five or three or four uh, millimeter U-gouge. We're going to start halfway down the nose and go push straight in toward the eye area. Now we're going straight in. We're not going up or any other angle. We're going straight in. Then we're going to jump across the bridge of the nose and go over here to this side. And if you want to, do it again. Make sure you get a good cut in there. Taking your knife and removing these two pieces of wood and this opens up the eye area and also as you can see it creates the a bridge of the nose. All right now I'm going to take my knife put it right here where we start with the U gouge I'm going to put straight in and toward the eye area and this is going to open up this area open up open up for us more. And same thing over here by turning our wood. Remember to keep turning your wood around and where you can get the best cut the best angle uh, for that. All right, so now we're going to create the smile lines and we're going to put a stop cut here. And you can put them whichever way you'd like. Turn them up, turn them down. But we're just going to go straight down this way. And we're going to take our knife and we'll go straight into the side of the nose there. That's going to create the wing of the nose. And again, making sure that's good and clean cut in there making our cut there and coming up this is going to create three planes for the mouth and so here's one there's two and there's three and so everything on our body is divided up in threes pretty much it's easy to remember <clears throat> now we're going to extend <clears throat> our small lines into the nose a little bit more what we call the crook of the nose that's really where the smile line starts is right there at the crook of the nose all right, so now we're going to just kind of tweak things here just a little bit. We're going to get ready to, to put in the upper lip, and I use a V-tool. And whatever size fits you, please just use whatever V-tool you want to there. And so you can see, even though he doesn't have any eyes yet, he has an expression there. And so now we're going to stop right there, and then we're going to come in, and we're going to draw our eyes this is going to be the upper eyelid that we're drawing. Then we're going to take our V tool and we're going to outline, just go right on top of that line you drew for the upper eyelid. And this is going to create the eyeball area. Again, rotating our thumb as we turn with our tool, that helps. All right, so now we're going to come to now to making the six cuts to each eyeball. And we're going to do three cuts here in each corner of the eye. There's the second cut, and here's the third cut. Come over here to the other end of the eye. Do this one, same thing, same cuts and to create that eyeball. Now that eyeball again is sticking out a little too far. 
We're going to take the knife blade, stick it up on top of that ball of the eye, and then we'll take our knife and just take a little sliver out and use that knife to get that out of there with. Now we're going to take our knife and create the eyebrow area and create the forehead. Kind of a rolling cut. We're going to take our, oh, let's see, we need our soft V. Anyway, I'll just use a U gouge here to separate the forehead a little bit. That way it doesn't have a unibrow. And again, we'll come in here and tweak that forehead a little bit. And we're going to take some of the sides off here a little bit. And that way he's not a blockhead. We don't want to block, block it, even though we're working with a block. And so, round them off a little bit. All right, so let's do the other eye. Let's do three cuts over here on this end of the eye. Turn your wood. One cut. Two. And hopefully three. All right, again, as you can see, that eye is sticking out a little too far, that eyeball. And we'll just take the very tip of the knife, because we're only using the tip, because we don't want to break the wood if we can help it. It's showing a little breakage there, but that's all right. And we're setting that eyeball inside the socket just a little deeper there. Then we're going to put in the bottom eyelid, and we start out from the outer part of the eye and work our way in toward the nose and make that cut there. And same thing over here, starting from the outside, working our way in and <clears throat> put in their crow's feet there, our smile lines, happy lines, what do you want to call them? And now we're going to put in the bottom lip. Now when you relax, this here is the deepest part of your uh, lip until you start smiling and then it starts tightening all those muscles start tightening up and We're using a soft V here and I always make a bigger lip Because okay, you can always make it you can always make it smaller. So always make your noses and lips bigger and um, That way if something does happen uh, you can correct it All right, we're going to get ready to open up his mouth <clears throat> to give his mouth some action. Again, always um, make sure you get rid of any sharp edges because there's no sharp edges on the human face or on the body itself. And um, <clears throat> so we're going to take our knife here. I'm just cleaning up little fuzzies here and there. And I'm going to make a series of stop cuts in between the upper lip and the bottom lip. All right, we're just using that tip. And I usually do it about three times to make sure we're getting the cuts in there really good. We're cutting the fibers of the wood. Then I plunge my knife inside and I'm turning my knife blade just like that. And hopefully we'll have an open mouth. Just a little bit of action there. All right, so and again, you can put teeth in here, you can put a tongue, or whatever you'd like to, but we're just doing a simple face today. And uh, just to show the basic features and basic cuts. And again, I always like to revisit this dental mound, keep everything around in perspective. And using my blower, you know, blow off this stuff. And we're almost done. Now we're going to put in what we call the angel kiss. And that's that little dent that we all have here on our right below our nose. Now if you're from the city, why they call it the angel kiss, but here in the Ozarks it's called the snot trough. So you just put that in, turn him upside down to put in the actual nostrils. Now some people say, well, why don't you just do it from this side? Well, we could break the edge of the, the, of the nose off. So I always like to come in and turn him over. That way I can see exactly where I want to put this U-gouge. And this is a, 
Oh, I call it the nose maker tool, and uh, it's a number eight shallow gouge. And taking my knife and picking his nose a little bit there, all right? Okay, now let's do the um, eyebrows. And again, follow that top line that you created for the upper eyelid and put in those little, just little features like that. Just helps out. And again, don't go any deeper than what the tool is made for. <laughs> All right, then the last thing you do is always give your uh, carving some action. So always have them looking left or right. And we're just going to take a pencil here. Now, if I was going to paint this, I would start with the eyeball, painting it white, and let that dry. Then come in with my blues or greens or whatever, or browns, and uh, create the, the color that we need for the pupil and all that. So right there is your basic face and uh, just on a one by one piece of wood. And that's just, I call it a practice stick. And it is good to practice this every day. And again, you could tweak this. You can put in just a little bit of a cut there if you'd like to create uh, some action inside the mouth there. But again, have fun with it, you know, and um, these are a great little practice pieces. So I hope you enjoyed it and we'll see you soon.